Hi friends, Tina did it here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this gather centerpiece using only Dollar Tree items. I think it turned out pretty cute. I will be adding a table runner on my dining table later on, but this I had to share with you. So if you want to see how I made this centerpiece, just keep on watching. I'm going to start off with one of these pumpkin hanging decor from Dollar Tree and here is the barcode just in case you'd like to find it online. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to take the tag off and I'm actually going to take out the center part. That part with the red truck, I will be cutting that off as well, but I can save that for another project. So I'm just going to set that aside for a minute and we're only going to use this glittered frame. Now, also from Dollar Tree, I picked up this wooden word gather and they had a few other wooden words, but I went with gather. I think there was another one that was harvest, but as for me, I went with gather and I'm going to take off the hanging part, the string from the back, but do be careful because those staples were really hard to get off. And I went ahead and spray painted my word gather in this metallic finish rose gold color I believe by Rust-Oleum. Now to make the base for the centerpiece I'm going to use this wooden frame. I got this during Easter time. Now this is the top part of it. It's not like a sticker. It feels like cardboard to me so you can just peel it off and we're going to use water to sand down the extra pieces so i'm going to take off as much as i can which there was another one under it apparently i guess they reprint things <laughs> over the leftovers i guess from other holidays but anyway so i did my best taking those off and then we're going to go in with a wet brush and cover the entire thing up with a nice layer and coat of water and then we're going to take our sandpaper and send all of that down. I found that this is the quickest way and easiest way to get this off because one time I painted it thinking that it was wood and the entire thing just started like curving, the edges started curving if that makes sense. Now I'm going to go in with this white paint and I'm going to paint the base. Now that the base is dry, I'm going to take some Jenga pieces. This will help my pumpkin frame stay in place, so I'm only going to use six of them. I'm going to hot glue th each three together and we'll glue those onto the base in just a minute. Before I forget to mention, if you like videos that are straight on point and cute and simple projects like this one and definitely affordable, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified every time I upload a video and by the way, I need Christmas early in my house this year, so I will be starting Christmas projects really soon. So definitely make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that way you don't miss out on the fun. Now I'm going to go ahead and paint the Jenga pieces with the same white paint that I used for the base. And I'm going to set that aside but while the paint is drying I'm going to go in with my word gather and glue it across the pumpkin using E6000. So basically you want to take your glue and apply it only where the word touches the frame the pumpkin frame so that's what I'm going to do and I'm just going to let it dry completely because E6000 does take a while to seal so just let it dry and then now that everything is dry I'm going to put it all together so I'm just going to show you really quick how everything should go and then I'll glue everything together. So basically you're just going to have the pumpkin frame in the center of the base and the two Jenga pieces that we made um, around it just for support. And I'm going to glue the entire thing using Gorilla Glue and um, hot glue, like a mixture of both. Gorilla Glue is more of a permanent hold so it's perfect but it takes a while to dry so that's why I'm using hot glue with it to keep it in place until the Gorilla Glue is completely dry. 
Now that I have my first one in place, I'm going to take the same Gorilla Glue and place some onto the side of it and some hot glue and I'm going to hold the pumpkin in place just for a while until the hot glue dries. Here I just have some help, someone holding it while I get the other piece ready. And I'm sorry the camera is so close to it, but I'm trying to get um, you to see the second part being glued in place. So I'm just getting that ready with hot glue and Gorilla, the Gorilla Glue, same thing we've been doing. And then I'm just going to place that onto the back of the pumpkin frame. And remember, once again, just hold it in place until the hot glue dries. So if you come across this problem like I did, I felt like mine was a little bit wobbly and the word gather was a little heavy for the frame. So it was tilting a little tiny bit forward. So I put extra hot glue in the front to fill in the gap in the space. That way it stays nice up and straight. So if you have this problem, do the same thing. Just fill in the gap and the little space with, um, with hot glue and it should stay in place. Just like here, it's perfectly straight. Now I'm going to go in with this pick, which I picked up from Dollar Tree, or any floral decor that you'd like, or just pumpkins or sunflowers, and get creative with this part. Just add whatever you'd like on there. Maybe add a ribbon around the box frame at the bottom. Like I always say, take the idea, make it your own, and make it fit your style. So as for me, I just went in with picks, put some in the front, some on the back, and added a few pumpkins and hung up a few pumpkins using some fish wire so that way it's clear, you can't really see the wire um, hanging the pumpkin down. And that's pretty much it, you're good to go. I am pleased with the way it looks, I love the way it turned out. And I'll definitely be placing this on my table during Thanksgiving with a few um, vases next to it, and I think that would look amazing. And here is the finished product. I am pleased with the way it turned out, but I would like to know what you think. Make sure to stop by the comment section and let me know what you think. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I will be adding a table runner to my table and maybe I'll have a few vases next to the centerpiece with some vase fillers. I think it turned out pretty cute, so I definitely had to share with you guys. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more fun DIYs. And make sure to share with your friends. Thank you all for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.